to the Olympus Report, Demigods, Monsters, and Gods Alike. Welcome to the one and only place for injuries. It's Camp Half-Blood Incident Reports. Should we add a warning label to pepper shakers? Name Rocky, cabin seven, date 01-12-24. Time, 8 a.m. Details of incident. Do not use too much pepper near cabin one. Their sneezes are shocking to say the least. You would think that's the only sneeze-related incident this week, but nope, there's more. Name Pete, cabin 12, date 01, 13, 24. Time, 8 p.m. Details of incident. Percy sneezed in the kitchen and a fork was sent airborne in my direction. I'm told I should leave it in my shoulder. Apparently, Percy's got a nasty cold, so I'd steer clear, or at least keep a 10-foot distance. Honestly, with how many injuries we have here at Camp Half-Blood, you may think it's actually safer on the outside world. But nope, it's just as dangerous out there, too. Name John, cabin 1, date 01 14 24. Time, who knows? Details of incident. I just got back from a quest. I made it, but most of my skin did not. Well, that's better than a lot of campers, honestly. So, congratulations, I think. And hopefully your skin will grow back. Or at least I hope skin grows back because I think this next camper is gonna need some as well. Name Nicole, cabin three, date 01, 15, 24. Time, noon. Details of incident. The Hermes cabin put a firecracker in my pants. My pants were literally on fire and I didn't even lie. <sighs> Why do you guys make your lives more painful? Cabin 11, stable cleanup duty for a month. Hopefully now you'll learn your lesson. But who am I kidding? You're never going to learn your lesson. So until next week, that's all I have for you, Half Bloods. Thank you for tuning in. But until then, I'm signing off, and please always remember to stay safe.